I remember um, there was this one. Uh, he was a gay man, very regal and old. <laughs> he was like in his seventies, and he was. Hi, my name is so and so, and I'm a gay man, and I used to be an actor in the theater. And little did he get up there and orate. Oh, I have hard. He was a very well spoken older gay man and it took him a while to realize that coming up as a gay man in the uh 50s it wasn't exactly easy and da -da -da. i found myself in many doohickeys and uh situations and, da -da -da. and he you know he was a kind of a charmer you know he could really rope you in with the charm he was you know sort of like i said very regal i think he used to wear ascots if i recall i don't really know but he was very charming to an extent. And, um, but I remember one time, and this, this is all based around my belief that we live in a world of cynicism motivated by self-interest. Nobody really cares. It's a cynical world. Cynicism motivated by self-interest. Nobody really cares. Who cares about gay rights, gay lords? Who cares about Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter activists. Who cares about feminism? Feminists. You see the trend? Nobody really cares. Everybody's self-interested. And if somebody tells you that they love you and care about you, you can be pretty much guaranteed they're lying in order to get money or power. Isn't the best thing that we can hope to do is mind our own fucking business? Live and let live? Anyway... I'm, I'm sitting at this, uh, it was a meeting. It was actually, um, the meeting had ended, this uh, recovery meeting. We went out for coffee. Everybody sitting on this patio, drinking coffee. In walks that gay older thespian that I was talking about, right? And he comes storming in. I can't believe what just happened. I just came back from a anti-pride. I was at the pride march. And those bombastic, buffoon, Black Lives Matter activists came in and tried to disrupt our gay march. How dare they? How dare they? Those radical, despicable, buffoonery, Black Lives Matter activists. How dare they? And he was just chewing into it. Going off about it. Flipping his fucking wig. Obviously trying to speak indirectly to me. Because he like shuffled up right next to me and was just pompastic. And just going off about it, right? And my whole thing is, like I said, I mean... It ain't nothing particular. It's not like he offended me. I'm not even into Black Lives Matter and all that horse shit. You know, I'm, I just kind of do for myself, mind my own fucking business. So it wasn't so much the black thing. It was the fact that I knew he was angry at black people. I knew he was projecting at me. And I was just, I don't like it when people project at me and talk at me. And if I don't have to be somewhere, I don't be there. So he's blah, 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 going off, right? And I was, I was sitting next to this person. And I was talking to him. Like, I got up. I'm like, I can't listen to this shit. I got to go. And, you know, I was saying bye to everybody, right? And then that fucking thespian, fellow thespian, really, he goes, um, bye, Jonathan. Gives me this fucking evil smile. <laughs> We're all self-motivated, self-interested. And, you know, I, I, he, he's like a 60, 70 year old man swept up in his sexuality. And was like, yo, you're like 40 years past fuckable. And, well, actually, I don't know, depending on the gay culture, they, they fuck until the cows come home. But like, he's like, I don't know. It's like, like dude, like you're so swept up in your sexuality that you don't realize, from my opinion, it's all ego. And, 
you swept up in your lusts and your desires and you turned away from God and you don't have any common sense in utility. All this time and effort and energy and emotion you put into your sexuality or your race or your gender politics, all this fucking time and energy people put into it when it's like, Just do the good, normal thing to get good, normal results. Right? 